In this problem, we have two different situations going on. First, we have a Mazda that's depreciating in value 10% each year, so that means it's going down in value. And in the second situation, we have a Mustang that's appreciating in value 6%, so that value is actually increasing. Part A is asking us for the first thing, and that's going to be an equation that represents both of these situations. So let's go ahead and start with the Mazda first. And the first number that I put down is going to be 19,000. And that represents the initial value of the car. Now we want to multiply 19,000 by a number that takes into account that 10%. So because it's depreciating, we lose 10% value in our car. So instead of having 100% value, we take away 10%. That leaves us with 90%. So 19,000 will end up being multiplied by 0.90. Another way of doing that is just taking 1, and then if we decrease in um, value, then we subtract the, uh, the decimal version of our rate. So our rate was 10%, so subtracting 0 0.10 from that would be left with 0 0.90. Um, that's just another way of doing it. Okay, so back to our expression right here. Uh, we want to figure out how many times we have to apply this 90% to our original value. Well, we don't know how many years we have, so we're going to use x as our variable there in the exponent. And then um, we should probably plug in another value um, or a variable here that y will represent our final value after x number of years. Now let's do the same thing for our Mustang. Okay, um, Our y value will be our final, um, I guess you'd say, value after x number of years. Uh, we're starting off with 11,000, so that goes in front. And then we want to multiply it by, we'll go with this way first, uh, 1. And then we're going to add, because we're appreciating in value, so our value is going up. And the decimal version of 6% is going to be 0 0.06. So adding those two together, we get 1.06. That's going to be in parentheses right here. And then we raise that to the x power, which represents how many times we have to apply this rate. Um, and that would be our years. Now part B is telling us to complete a table that represents the next 10 years of each car's value. So what we would have to do is just plug in um, 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, and so on up to 10 for our x values and calculate our y's to get a big long table. But we could also plug this into a graphing utility of some sort. Uh, I'm going to do Desmos and that will give us a table. So here we are in Desmos. I'm going to click start graphing. Now I'm going to graph both of my equations. So we have y equals 19,000. Our base is going to be 0 0.90. And then we're raising that to the x power. Our next equation is y equals 11,000. And then the base is going to be 1.06 raised to the x power. Now as you can see on our graph right here, nothing showed up. And that's just because we're working with some huge numbers right here. So you'd have to zoom out really far to actually see the graph. So if I do that, zooming out a bunch of times, there you go. So you see a couple of the curves there. Um, but now all we needed was the table. So I'm going to click this gear right here where it says Edit List. And then I'm going to do Convert to Table for my first graph. And as you can see, we have 0 uh, and then 1, 2. I'm going to go to 10. So I hit Enter. Uh, enter again, enter, 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 until we get to 10. Uh, I don't need negative 2. That would be negative 2 years. We don't want that. I'll delete that, and then I'll delete negative 1 as well. So this would be uh, year uh, 0 through 10. Now I'm going to do the same thing for my second equation here. So I click my gear, and I want to convert it to a table. And then I'm going to take away negative 2, and I'm also going to take away negative 1 and I need the rest of my years so I'm just gonna hit enter a bunch of times until I get to 10 years there we go so now we have uh, years 0 through 10 part C says that we need to come up with a graph that shows us when the Mustang ends up being worth more money than our Mazda so we're gonna go back to our graph now I'm back in my graph and we want to figure out when our Mustang becomes more valuable than our Mazda. So our Mustang is our blue curve right here, our Mazda is our red one. And uh, we want to find the point of intersection. So what we're going to do is uh, click the top right hand corner button up here where it says graph settings and change our window. So let's first change our X scale. 
and our x represented years so I'm going to click my lowest number here and plug in 0 because we would never have zero, um, I'm sorry negative years we would our, our lowest number of years would be 0 and then our highest number of years would be about 10 I'd say because we had our 10 in our table so I'm going to plug in 10 for my x so we're going from 0 to 10 years our y represents our dollar value so um, we're never going to go below zero dollars so I'm going to press zero there and then for our, our maximum value uh, would say maybe twenty thousand dollars and then hit enter so now you can see on the bottom of our graph here we have zero one two three four five and so on and then here we have all of our value for our dollars you could see the blue Mustang right here increasing in value and then you could see the red Mazda decreasing in value and right here is our intersection and if I click on my intersection point right here it looks like they intersect right around I will estimate this to be about 3.34 uh, and that's going to be our years remember our x value represents years and then our y value would be um, our car value and that would be about thirteen thousand three hundred sixty three dollars and thirty two cents so there we go um, now part D says we need to calculate the average rate of change between year 4 and year 5. And I'm going to use the slope formula, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, to give us that. I'll start with my Mazda right here. So year 4 and year 5 happens right here. So these are going to be the values that I want to work with. And I'm going to take 11,219 and 31 cents and subtracted by twelve thousand four hundred sixty five dollars and ninety cents and then that's going to be divided by five minus four that'll be negative one thousand two hundred forty six dollars and fifty nine cents um, that would be the average rate of change between year uh, four and five I'm going to do the same thing with the blue uh, Mustang right here and we have year four and five right there I'm going to set that up again. So right here we have the year 5 value um, being subtracted by our year 4 value. And our answer will be $833.23. So you could see that our Mazda was going down in value. That's why it's a, a negative there. And uh, it's decreasing at a quicker rate than which the uh, Mustang is increasing. Our Mustang is positive. So again, I said increasing, but it's just not increasing as quick as the uh, Mazda is decreasing.